Hello, everybody. Andrew Maeski here with Dental L. So let's talk about teeth whitening. So things that I have noticed that patients prefer, things that patients don't like, and just overall whitening and the different products out there and what actually works and what doesn't work. So I have been in the dental profession now for about 15 years. Has it been 15 years? Wow, that seems like a long time. So I have seen my fair share of whitening products. Whitening products first became popular, I would say about 10 years ago. They really weren't always around, but then once things started um, being advertised that you can whiten your teeth, then everybody wanted to do that because who does not want white teeth? And it is surprisingly easy to do it. Anybody can do it. Not everybody can get the most amazing results as the next person, but anybody can truly do it. So what I find is the most popular is in-office whitening. So patients want to get in, do the whitening, get out and done. Makes sense. In-office whitening is the more expensive one because you get immediate uh, results within about 60 minutes, depending on the whitening process you use, it could be up to two hours. Um, but that is the most expensive, but that's what everybody wants. So money isn't everything, right? I know, who knew? Um, and the take home option, like in my practice, so I do own my own dental hygiene studio. In my practice, I actually offer both options. So I do offer an in-office option where I apply the whitening for them in about 45 to 60 minutes, depending on their current shade or they can have a package to take home. And that take home package includes a tray, um, some whitening uh, syringes, a light in some cases. I do have packages with a light, I have packages without the light. So I do have, have um, um, different options for them. And my packages with, um, or sorry, my take home packages, they did not sell as well as I would have thought because the take home packages are cheaper. So I would have thought that patients would have been all for that, but they're really not. Um, I ended up giving away, well not giving away, but I ended up giving my family those whitening take home packages as like birthday presents, um, Christmas presents, because I didn't want them to expire before I, I ended up selling them. Or maybe it's just because everybody wants the in-office whitening option, which is fine by me because I love doing the whitening because it's easy, you know, easy, it is, um, and patients are so happy afterwards. So I do always suggest that patients have their teeth clean first. Usually that's what patients do. The only time that I've had patients opt to not have the cleaning is if they literally just had their, their teeth cleaned a couple months ago by somebody else. And they might have said, oh, I heard you do in-office whitening. I want my teeth whitened before the holidays, before the wedding coming up, before the party coming up. But I just had my teeth cleaned, so insurance doesn't cover another one. That's the only time where I find patients say no to a cleaning. Because everybody knows if your teeth are as clean as possible first, then the whitening's going to be better, right? So the in-office is the most popular. There are whitening toothpaste out there also. I find most patients, when I tell them that there are toothpaste out there that will actually help to keep the whitening longer, they are all for that, which is awesome. But I do also tell them the whitening toothpaste that are on the market, like the ones you can buy from the store are useless. In my opinion, they're useless. Nothing has ever worked for me. Um, I am a good guinea pig because I get stains very, very easily, tea and coffee, but like it looks pretty bad in my opinion. So there are a couple toothpaste that I love and, and I will actually tell them like this, this toothpaste, this toothpaste is amazing. Trust me, it works. I have one toothpaste that is 20 to $25. I have another one that has um, charcoal in it. If you want something not abrasive, but just a little more of a booster for $35. So with charcoal toothpastes, depending on the one you buy, so be careful, you should not use them every day. There's another toothpaste that I that I, I like, which is amazing, and, and that's the 20 to um, $25 one, depending on if they pick up from me or if I ship out. 
um, that one is okay to use every day and it's amazing. But I actually like to suggest both of them. So the one toothpaste, I would show you guys if I had them. Actually, stay right there, don't move. Let me show you guys. Okay, let's see. There we go. Sorry guys, I guess I could have stopped the video, but this is real life. This is real and formal. This is how it is, right? So this toothpaste, honestly, you guys, I love it for every single day. I love it. This is the best toothpaste that I have found out there that actually helps the stain not come back. But I like to use this charcoal one too. If, if I'm kind of feeling like I want my teeth to have a boost of the whitening, without having a whitening treatment. This is seriously amazing. Be careful with charcoal toothpaste that you buy. They are messy, they are too coarse, too abrasive, so you want one that is made by a dental company. Trust me, don't go to China, don't go to Japan to get your whitening products, but that's another story for another day. But I love these ones in case you're curious. The in-office um, whitening that I use is Wicked White Pro. Amazing, amazing. I do have a lot of before and after photos on my Facebook business page if you would like to have a look at those. Um, it is truly an amazing product. Limited from what I have found, limited to no sensitivity, and it is made by a dental hygienist. Like the company is made by a a dental hy um, hygienist. So I would prefer to support them opposed to like Zoom, you know, another one out there that didn't really work well for me anyway, or just way too sensitive. So yeah, you guys, so that's what I find. The in-office whitening seem to be the most popular, the take home, not so much. Um, I would not go and spend hundreds of dollars on take home kits because they just might be sitting there. But I've known other hygienists that have so much luck with them. So I guess it just kind of depends on how you sell it, I suppose. But my patients just want me to do the whitening for them, then they don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, guys, let me know of any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Click like if you haven't already. So I know people are watching. That would be super cool. And make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a nice day and happy holidays.